y'all niggas know what it is. You know we get the back. <laughs> what? ACP, did you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. It's take the time. and what made me start crying was I had listened to Aaliyah and had known about R. Kelly and listened to his music when I was super young. Mm -hmm. And it was, it's so strange because I had an inkling that he was slightly sus. It just hit me so hard when I was watching it, like, oh my God, like, I was listening to this when I was a kid. And then seeing him in the back of that, um, Age Ain't Nothing But A Number album cover. Something from my childhood was just debased. I felt Like, why way. is he just in the back of the album cover just lurking? That's weird. And we just like, oh, no, nah, Age Ain't Nothing But A Number. Like, it's, it just completely threw me. I am just so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get it sooner. Yeah. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna cry. Jada Pinkett Smith in tears, speaking with R. Kelly accuser Lisa Van Allen. We didn't expect it to be this powerful. This you impactful. I mean? yeah. Like, because, you know, I came out in 2008 and nobody heard me. Yeah. So, it's just, it's awesome yeah. to be heard. It takes practice to have those difficult conversations um, with kindness and consideration. The more that we can bring these difficult subjects to light and talk about it, the more we can purify these subjects. Now it doesn't take a genius to recognize why I did a little research on all of these opinionated voices that were quick to jump on the hate R. Kelly, keep R. Kelly down bandwagon and overlook a lot of things from their own past, which was the hypocrisy that got me. Especially when you go down people's background and recognize all of the quote unquote entanglements they had going on, all of the shenanigans they put on public display for publicity, and even the allegations they themselves have been waged against. I guess people like to tip into the double standards and overlook certain allegations depending on who it is and who it involves. But I find it particularly interesting listening to Jada Pinkin use her daughter to exploit this storyline with R. Kelly, never mind the fact that she herself could be accused of grooming her own children. She herself has been in the midst of scandal between her own children doing grown-up type things. So to latch on to stories that a person that was in the industry could have been easily able to confirm or deny is what gets me when a lot of people want to spark some of these conversations and then skip around the topic. Like to listen to people talk and not have the background information when it comes to a person like Lisa Van Allen and hear her talk about coming out in 2008. But she don't never mention her involvement in trying to shake down R. Kelly back in 2002. She don't mention all of the things that came out in open court for those who followed the case. And people like Jada Pickett Smith never came back to clear up some of the misinformation that was put on their platforms for whatever their agenda is. For example, the minute I heard Lisa Van Allen get on the same docu-series they crying about, talking about she had relations with an underage girl, then lie about her own age trying to present herself as a minor knowing damn well she was grown as hell, that is why I could not stand by quietly instead of bringing out the information I knew a lot of people wouldn't read, 
put it in the collage form for people to go and check into the context clue and to avoid all of the misinformation from even these so-called R. Kelly stands who had nothing better to do than to put on this grave front like they're trying to help the man when really they're engaging in the same type of activities designed to keep R. Kelly down. Make that shit make sense.